and welcome back. My name is Debbie Watts. This is Aracula Card Art and my YouTube channel. Today's card is masking, stamping and ink blending. Let's run through the materials you'll need. You need a folded card 15 by 15 centimetres, a piece of paper and a bauble metal crafting die. This we will use to make a mask. Working with Distress Oxides, you'll need black soot, fossilised amber, dusty concord and iced spruce. You'll also need separate ink blenders for each of your colours. We'll be making a bow today, it's about 20 centimetres of ribbon. I'm going to use a split pin brad to secure the bow. We will need a clear blue drying uh, glue pen and some fine white um, glitter. For the bauble chain, either self-adhesive gems or those peel-offs that uh, we all have and don't know what to do with. You'll need, of course, some acrylic blocks. The dance you'll need for this card today is a sentiment and some images, and I'm using Cardio range. The Christmas scenery stamp set has some lovely images and woodland animals. Um, and uh, tree tree lines, but I'm sure you have something else in your stash that could be equally used. I'm going to be using a branch from their branching out set too. We use liquid pearls in red to create the berries and a foam pad to affix your bow to the card. First step is to create the mask, so place the metal bauble die onto the centre of your 15 by 15 centimetre piece of paper and die cut. This, as you see, um, creates the image perfectly centre to your mask and you can just place it on top of your folded card. Now you have your mask with the bauble's aperture centre, don't forget keep your die cut bauble. Using a low tack tape, uh, stencil tape would be absolutely perfect for this, affix the mask to the front of your card. Um, this it can come in very handy as it acts as a second -hand pair of hands. Making sure the mask is sturdily fixed to the card, we're going to start using the dusty concord. So get your blender a very very slight amount of ink is required you really really don't need to overload your blender I actually take off the surplus ink onto my craft mat um, and onto the mask as well so what you need to do is gently dab around the aperture shape of the bauble and you will end up with more ink on the mask than what appears to be on the card but that's absolutely fine the entire bauble shape you will need to hold that mask in place with your hands as you go. You may not think a lot of ink is actually getting onto the card so I tend to remove the tape and just lift the mask off so you can actually see how much ink is going onto that card when it's contrasted against the blank card. Creating the shape of the bubble, you just need that subtle colour. So once you're happy with the dusty concord, move on to the black soot. Again, very, very slight amount of ink. I would take off the excess onto your work area and your mask. And repeat exactly the same process. The good thing about using the alternate colour is you can see exactly where you've been and where you need to go. Check the entire aperture shape and again don't forget a sneaky peek, uh, lift, your, lift your mask and have a look at the image you're creating onto your card. Remember the ink blending you're doing is just to create a dusting of colour, it's not to create a solid colour. Lift the mask. 
mask off and don't forget keep the mask you can use that again and again the next step of ink blending is to create a horizon tree line with a pair of scissors and one side of your mask we want to create and cut a sliver that's on a curve keep the sliver you'll need this later Using the curve you've created on your mask, place this over your bauble on a slight angle and this is what will um, be the horizon line. Use fossilised amber and again very very slight amount of ink, take off the excess before you're applying it to the actual card and lightly dab along the curve line. Um, you want to increase uh, the intensity in the top left hand corner because we're going to create a sunburst effect. Place the mask back over your bauble and complete that top left hand corner going over with your yellow ink. This is the sunburst. Take the sliver that you cut and place this over the yellow ink that you've just applied. We'll need the, we'll need the black soot blender. Don't add any ink because there should be enough on it already. And very, very lightly dab onto the sliver. You just want to catch the edge of the black onto the card. This is going to create some horizon shadowing. Through the different stages of ink blending, don't forget to keep your work surface and your hands clean. Now onto some stamping. I'm going to create the tree line and add the deers into the bauble image. So taking the trees and place these on the small acrylic block. Take also a black ink pad. I'm using Versifying Claire for my stamping today. Load up your stamp and make sure you have a good ink coverage on the stamp. Don't forget the horizon is actually on a slant, so you need to stamp onto an angle too. So the first stamp is your small trees onto the horizon, and then just lift and second generation stamp the same image. This will actually create a tree line with some distance, so it looks like there's a double layer of trees. Ink up your tree stamp again, but this time take the mask or a scrap piece of paper and stamp the first time onto the mask and then the second generation stamp to the left of your tree line. So this completes the distance and double layering of the trees to your card. Remember, always keep your stamps clean and place them onto the holder. Moving on to stamping the deer, place the small deer onto an acrylic block and also the larger to another block. We'll now stamp the deer. So the larger deer, take your black ink pan and load up the stamp. Again, a good coverage is required to make sure you get a solid image stamped to your card. We want to stamp the larger deer to the center right of the bauble shape, but stay within the bauble shape. Take the smaller deer, load that with black ink and again stamp this but to the left centre of the bauble and within the bauble aperture shape. Using the two different sized deer will actually create the images as if there's distance between them. Clean the stamps and again place them back onto your stamp holder for storage. Taking a branch from the branching out stamp set by Cardio, I'm going to be stamping into the bauble to uh, create almost like an overhang branch. So load up your branch with the black ink. Place your mask back over to your image and align to the bauble. This will actually protect your um, cardstock. If you've got a gap on the edge like I have, just use a spare piece of card to protect your card base. Taking your stamp, we then want to stamp 
partly into the bauble and partly onto the mask. And I'll show you why once we lift and reveal that mask. By stamping through the mask, what we've actually created is the image as if you're looking through a bauble and partly looking uh, at, at a foreground, if you like, of the branch and then the deer and then the tree line. Place your mask back over the bauble, protect any exposed card and do the same and stamp the branch on the other side of the bauble. I'm going to do second generation stamping on this one as it's such a small area. Remove the mask and you can see the amazing design that you've just created with inks and stamp. I'm going to heat set this just to lock in those colours, lock in the black ink, make sure it's dry so we've got no smudging. The next step will to be create some shadowing under the deer of the body, um, casting the shadow from the sunburst. So taking the very tip of your blending sponge, add some iced spruce to it. But again, you really don't want a lot of ink, so take off that excess. What you then need to do is gently add small strokes of the tip underneath the deer and do a little bit at a time and this will create the shadow. Do this on the large and the small deer. Once you're happy with the depth of the shadowing, we're going to move on to create those frosty patches. Using the blue clear drying um, glue pen, we want to uh, add small detail, um, almost like um, drawing. Uh, so start underneath the um, shadowing and the body of the deer and move on to the horizon line that you've created. So underneath the tree lines and also take a few patches of the landscape. Um, it, it kind of want to create some snow drifts um, and just some detail that we're going to add the glitter to. Once you're happy with your snow patches, um, we want to place a, a folded piece of paper underneath your cardstock. Take your very fine white sparkling glitter and smother this all over, scatter this all over the bubble shape and make sure that your glue will pick up the glitter. Tap off the excess onto the folded piece of paper and what you want to do is place that to, to one side and allow the glue to completely dry. Once your work's completely dry, with a fine, soft, bristled paintbrush, I want you to dust off that surplus glitter and dust this off onto your capture piece of paper. Spend a few moments removing all the surplus glitter. Once you've completed that, Take your excess glitter and place it back into the pot and make sure the lid is firmly on. A final blast with the heat gun just to make sure that glue is completely dry. Your card design and image is really coming together now, so it's on the final touches. We're going to create a bow, so cut a 20 centimetre piece of ribbon. Today I'm going to secure it with a split pin brad. Um, you can actually glue this in place, uh, but I'm, I'm going to use a brad today. Uh, so to create a double loop, and using the brad where the bow intersects, force through the pins of the brad through all layers of the ribbon. Piercing the ribbon and then at the rear split those pins. Shorten the ribbon legs and cut these at an angle. At 
this stage don't actually affix the bow just yet, we want to create the chain of the bauble first. So decide whether you want to use the peel off strips or the gem self adhesive strip. Once you've made your decision, cut a section to size and affix to your card. I always find it's easier to trim the excess once it's on the card. Take a foam pad, fix to the rear of the bow, remove the backing and affix to your card. You could actually do this with a hot glue gun if you have one. Using red liquid pearls, I'm going to create small berries on those branches. Make sure this is completely dry before you go on to stamping the sentiment. Place your sentiment onto acrylic block, load up with the black ink and position on your card and stamp. Again, light even pressure. So there we are, we've now finished the card. I hope you've had fun making this. It's a very quick design and you can change the details slightly as you go, as you make batches of these. So I hope you've had fun. Please like and subscribe to my channel and my future tutorials. And all I can say from me to you is happy crafting.